Orang Estad is celebrating 200 years of existence this year. Buenos Televidentinan, Amita Yantolu. As you can see, I am strolling in downtown Orang Estad. I have a question for the local community of Aruba. As the capital city of this island marks two centuries, what do we really know about it? Well, I can tell you this. After exploring the area with someone who is deeply connected to Orangistad, I can tell you that it is definitely worth spending some time here to get to know it better. It is a city full with history, uh, monuments, uh, tangible and also intangible heritage. Clifford Rosa here was born and raised in the area of Orangistad, which is sometimes referred to as Rancho by locals. Present day, he is the chairman of the Rancho Foundation, which is an NGO that educates and preserves the capital city of Aruba. Orangistad is charming and full of history. Plus, two major monuments can be found here. Come into Rancho, you will get two different industrial monuments that are protected. One of them is the lime kiln. That is one of the very most important monuments that we have in this area. So here you can see the limestones and when they build the houses with clay and like the first plaster coming over is lime. So that's why it is very important, the whole process, but for the lime kiln is very important because the lime kiln produce this first material that they had been using with a collar, you know, so that's why it is very important to know the history and how the technical part of building uh, yeah, houses from mud house to stone house. And nowadays, uh, yeah, you have the, uh, the cement. And also the first water tank with the intention to distrib water distribution to the Orion stack. Water so, tank, yeah, need also attention, but it is a protected uh, industrial monument also. You might see the, the, the emblem on the other side, but to be able to build a, a water tank and with the intention to start distribution water to Orion stack. So this is happened, this was built also in 1905. So it is uh, very young, but the whole intention of water distribution on the island starts with this idea. Besides for the protected monuments, there's so many other reasons to pay a visit to Orangistad. New street names have been established, followed by improvements in those alleys. Additionally, the diversity of Orangistad is also part of its vibrant character and cultural richness. The names of the streets and the development that came on with that. You know, so you have the Catholic Church, you have the Protestant Church, and all that is like a, in combination. So we are like a multicultural um, um, area, um, Rancho Orangistad, because it is like that, this, uh, it is multicultural. So every type of um, yeah, people living into this area. Clifford is knowledgeable and passionate about his home city of Orangistad. For the next 200 years, he wishes the area to be cleaner and for the abandoned buildings to be full of life and creativity. Most importantly, he is eager, very eager, for the people of Aruba to learn more about their capital city. The community of Aruba have to care because they don't know their own history. And uh, we are working for uh, yeah, more than 10 years to educate our own people about their own heritage. So I know that this is one of the things that they didn't even thought about that uh, the city might have that amount of years. It's not only the locals that should invest some time in Orangistad, it's also our visitors. If you see the, uh, the cruise ship, you might see how close we are from the cruise ship terminal. And why is that important? Because they are in walking distance from the heritage, the main heritage of the island of Aruba. So cruise ship visitors should definitely spend some time here. And walk through this area, Rancho Strat and all this area, to look into monuments buildings, but also our protected monument of industrial monument that we have in this area. That is the aim, educating our own people and educating our visitors who is coming in, we, yeah, able to, to know our heritage. And that is very important. Signing off right here in Orangistan, a city marking 200 years. I'm Yen Liu, Patel Noticias.